So this question is from the year 2012, paper 1, question 4. Reads as follows. A soccer team has three strikers, John, Paul and Michael. The number of minutes each had played by the end of a particular season is shown in the table. The team divided a bonus of 150,000 between its strikers in proportion to the time that each played. So here's the table of the times, the minutes that the players had played. And basically that 150,000 is divided up according to the, the minutes that they played, in proportion to the minutes that they played. So what this really is, it's a ratio. It's saying, um, divide this 150,000 up in the ratio of 2,250 is to 2,600 2, is to 150. So we can say John corresponds to 2,250, Paul corresponds to 2,600, and Michael corresponds to 150. Now, of course, this kind of ratio isn't really much use to us because the numbers are really too big. So what you want to do is simplify down this ratio. Ratios are just like fractions. You can simplify it down by finding a number that goes into all three numbers. So the first most obvious thing is that they all end in zero. So we could divide each number by 10 straight away by just crossing out the zeros. Once I've done that, I look at my smallest number, which is 15, and start thinking, what number would divide into 15 and also divide into these numbers? Um, possibly 15, but I think I'm going to try, first of all, 5, because I know 5 goes into this, and it should go into these as well. So, um, if we divide 5, we get 45 here, 52 here, and 3 here. Now, that's a lot, a lot more... Um, usable because if you actually if you add all of those up quickly you get a hundred so we could just as easily say that um, John is entitled to 45% of 150,000 because it's 45 out of 100 which we know is 45% Paul would be entitled to a little bit more 52% and Michael would be entitled to just 3% because he, he just played 150 minutes Okay, so let's concentrate on John first. John is entitled to 45% of 150,000. Now, when you hear the word of, you should always think of multiply. A lot of people make the mistake of dividing the 150,000 by 45%. That'd be totally wrong. So if you want to get a percentage of something, you just multiply the percentage by the number. And you can do that in your calculator. You just type in 150,000 multiply by 45 and then to get the percentage sign you just press shift and the percentage key and then press equals to and you get your answer so this gives us 67,500 so now we're going to concentrate on Paul Paul has 52% of 150,000 so we're going to multiply 150,000 by 52% which gives us 78,000 euros. So we just have Michael left to do. So, and Michael will just be 3%. So it's 3% here of 150,000. So I'm just going to work that out in the calculator. So this works out at 4,500 euros. So now we've worked out what the three players receive in terms of money which is what the question asks us to do. So part B asks us, at the end of the following season, a larger total bonus was paid. At that time, John said, the bonus should be paid according to the number of goals scored by the striker. Paul scored 50% more than Michael. I scored as many as both of them together. I would get 140,000 if the team used this method. Right, so the question is, Calculate the total bonus on offer this season. So now we're talking about the following season. So we don't actually know how much money is being shared out. All we know that is that John got 140,000 for his share. If, he, if we use this method that he suggested, in other words, 
the strikers get money according to how many goals they score. So to start solving this, we have to look at John's system and see what ratio he employs. So let's just write down the equivalent of the ratio that we had in the previous answer. If you remember, it was John, Paul and Michael. And let's try and figure out what the actual ratio would be using John's system. So I suppose the first important thing to note here, he says... Paul scored 50% more goals than Michael. So Michael scored the least amount of goals. Paul scored 50% more than Michael. And John scored as many as both of them together. So how can we make that into a ratio? Well, whenever you get a question in this form, where, you, where it's kind of saying one person had you know, twice as much as another person or one person had 50% more than another person, so if it says something like that, you've got to let the person with the least amount give them the ratio part of 1. So what I mean by that is Michael is clearly the, the person with the, the, the lowest share because he scores the least amount of goals. So we let him equal to 1. Now, if we notice... Paul scored 50% more than Michael. Well, that's kind of easy to work out now because 50% more than 1 is 1 1.5. And then John says, I scored as many as both of them together. So John scored as many as both of these guys together. So that would make John's part 2.5. So now at least we've got, we got a ratio that we can work with. So the key here was figuring out who, was the, who had the smallest share and letting them equal to 1. Now to make things a bit easier, we want to get rid of the decimals simply we, by multiplying the whole ratio by 2. So 2 times 2.5 gives us 5, 2 times 1.5 gives us 3, and 2 times 1 gives us 2. And we're told in the question that John would get 140,000 if the team used his method. So we can say that the five parts here corresponds to 140,000. Now, we know that in total here there's 10 parts. So really, this is, John is entitled to half of the total amount of money that's going to be on offer, the total bonus. And that's actually what we're looking for. We're looking for the total bonus for that season. So, if 140,000 is a half of the total bonus, then the bonus must be twice 140,000. So, we can say that the total bonus must be 2 times 140k, which is equal to 280k, so 280,000. So, part 2 asks us, how much each would Paul and Michael get under John's system? So we know that John gets 140k, but what would Paul and Michael get? Well, John has five parts, Paul has three parts, and Michael has two parts. So we just need to work out what, what is three parts worth and what is two parts worth. So we know that five parts is equal to 140k. So to, the best, best way to do this would be to find out what one part is, and then multiply by three to get Paul's. Uh, share and multiply by 2 to get Michael's share. So let's divide 140 by 5. If you do that, you get what one part is worth. So we can say that one part is worth 28k. Note you could also get this answer if you took the total amount of 280k for the 10 parts and divide by 10 to get one part. But here, I think it's slightly simpler. Just to multiply, divide the 5 into the 140k to get what one part is. So if one part is 28k, then three parts, Paul share, would have to be 3 times 28k, which is 84k. Um, likewise, Michael's share would be two parts, so that would be 2 times 28k, which is 56k.